Thank you very much, Wairi Mumbugwa. Now, moving on, we look at community policing. Now, when the task force on the National Task Force on uh, Police Service was instituted, and that is uh, community policing, its core mandate was to fight crime by way of involving the public in sharing information on security concerns to the relevant authorities or security agencies. But the chairman of the task force, and that is Joseph Kagudi, says the success of the exercise solely depends on us as a whole. It is a collective responsibility. His concerns emerge in the wake of widespread protests in Gidorai 45 area in Nairobi against the killing of a, sex, a suspected criminal by an officer of police who, is, who has since uh, been charged with murder for misusing his weapon. Matatu operators and residents of Gidrai 45 area in Nairobi last week blocked Thika Highway for hours to protest the arrest and prosecution of Constable Titus Ngamau Musila, who allegedly shot and killed Kenneth Kimani Mwangi on Sunday, 14th April 2013, and Oscar Mushoki Mwangi, an older brother to Kenneth Kimani Mwangi on Sunday, 24th August 2014. The police officer was last week charged in court of the murder following recommendations by the Independent Policing Oversight Authority. The protesters have been calling on his release, saying he had helped in reduction of crime, but the Oversight Authority holds he is culpable for the misuse of his weapon in the shooting. <laughs> This is just but one case the task force on community policing has to grapple with. And the chairman, Joseph Kagudi, insists there is more to it than meets the eye. Media takes, takes a note that the demonstration is a, is, a, is, a, is a national expression of view. It is a paid expression of view. So we don't take it as a quickly. We are not going to be cheated like that very, very quickly. No. Community policing, they are in that cluster. They write and they wait to be responded to. And we are demanding that uh, what the clusters say, the policing agencies, that is government, responds to them. Government announced that policy and legal instruments had been established to entrench community policing and strengthen the fight against crime in the country. But just how is the Nyumbakumi model supposed to work? Samuel Ndemo, a member of the task force, elaborates. Clusters are based on existing structures on the ground. For instance, it could be a village. It could be a manyata in areas where we have manyatas. It could be a gated community in the urban centers. Or any other existing cluster based on people who have a, a common interest. They sit with these government policing agencies, outline their security needs, identify the areas of concern, prioritize them, plan together, share information, and once they've done that, then there is that uh, arm of government which starts from the sub-location to the national level that deals with execution. The chairman, however, feels all government organs, including the judiciary, need to be proactive as opposed to being reactive to cases of insecurity if the process is to be beneficial to all. And how I wish the prosecution will change drastically so that the prosecution is again decentralized the way it was decentralized before a decision was taken in 1974, this one I can tell you, that certain other organizations cannot do prosecution. We have uh, the DPP, but let's widen the, the, the scope. The two moved to encourage the public to take up the challenge of community policing while revealing that the task force will soon coordinate a national-wide civic education and awareness campaign to promote, the concept of, to promote the concept of community policing at the grassroots. Zawadim Dibo, WTV News.